With regards to listening to music, we would usually recommend that you use over-the-ear headphones as opposed to earbuds in your ear for several reasons. One of the reasons is when you're putting earbuds in your ear, you're preventing the wax that you're making from leaving your ear. And if you're pushing those into your ear every day, you may be compacting the wax. Um, another reason is because when you use in-the-ear buds to listen to music, it's a little bit harder for you to monitor how loud the sound is and it will be getting up to damaging levels before you realise it. With over-the-ear um, headphones, it's a bit easier for you to keep track of it. We don't recommend that you put anything into your ears at all, including cotton buds, although it may be very tempting. The reason why we reject cotton buds is because they're actually too large for your ear canals. They were never designed for ears. Um, and you may actually be damaging the tiny little hairs that help to carry the wax out of your ears. So you're um, damaging your self-cleaning mechanism. And worse than that, you may be encouraging the production of earwax by stimulating the glands as you're rubbing inside the ear canal. So instead, what we recommend is that you use olive oil about once every three to four weeks as a preventative measure. It doesn't stop the wax from being created or being made, but what it does do is it helps to keep the wax moving out of the ear in a natural way. There are several environmental and lifestyle factors which might lead to you building up more wax. So first of all, it may be that you have to wear things in your ears for your job. So for example, if you're a telephonist, you might be wearing a headset all the time, or you might be having to wear earplugs if you work in an industry. You might be working in the entertainment business where you've got to wear hearing or ear monitors. Um, you may have um, other reasons why you're putting things in your ears. So for, your, for example, your hobbies might be noisy, so you're putting noise plugs in. You might have to wear swim plugs, you might need to wear sleep plugs. So every time we push something into our ears, we're actually stopping the wax from coming out and we may be pushing it back up again <laughs> from where it had started to migrate to. So lots of reasons why what we're doing with our ears may actually um, cause us to build up with wax. If you do have a noisy hobby, such as music or gaming, then we do advise you to be careful with your ears. So you need to be aware that sounds of 80 decibels or more can be damaging to your ears in a permanent way. So if you're coming away from doing whatever you're doing and your ears are ringing or hissing or whistling, that's your early warning sign to say that that sound at that time was too loud for you. And it's normal for you to go out on an evening and have your ears ringing in the morning or before you go to bed. Um, but that may become a permanent feature, as may some hearing loss as well after time. So we do recommend that you monitor the levels that you're listening to, make sure that you're keeping the levels down, and you're also reducing the period of time that you're spending in that noise. Hearing loss can have a huge impact on a person's life. It can affect their home life, it can affect their work life, it can affect their education. And so we need to find it and we need to monitor it and we need to try and help it as much as we possibly can. So in terms of how it makes you feel, it can lead to isolation, it can mask other issues like dementia, it can lead to a lot of frustration, miscommunication, issues with your relationships, um, lack of confidence, um, it could affect um, your speech development if you're a child trying to learn how to, how to make words. Um, there's a stigma around hearing loss, so it may be causing feelings of embarrassment. Um, it might also be making you feel like you don't want to do the things that you, you like to do or you need to do anymore.